You're back. I'm Mandy. I'm Dan. Subscribe to Buzz Chomp. Woo! Woo. Westworld Season 2 Reaction. Only the season finale remains. And right now, we gotta talk the Valley of the Forge. Not, not Valley of the Ford, even though that's apropos as well. But there's the valley within Westworld, which contains the proverbial forge. They gave it a name. Kind of cool. I like the name Cradle better. But forge is probably also a weird acronym. Bottom line, this is the spot where all of the data, DNA, memories, basically an entire human digital replica is stored for every person that's ever visited Westworld in the history of time. The Man in Black, AKA Williams, was downloaded onto a little chip for his viewing pleasure, and now his wife's viewing pleasure. But there is a forge in the valley. And if I'm to understand this correctly, the forge is basically the matrix. Let me explain. Everything about a person is downloaded via the chip in the hats for all the time they've ever spent in Westworld. Everybody gets a hat. Now, I guess if you take your hat off, it kind of defeats the purpose, but most people wear their hats, right? It's a cowboy town. The whole idea here is that you can create a host version of a human, which has all the memories, all the history, all the DNA of that human. Now, we were told that those humans do not exist for very long in the real world, it's kind of like a um, conflict of interest, if you will. Their fake body is in conflict with the fact that they're dead or that they're already existing. And the dual existence, it just, it just doesn't work. It makes sense that nature would let this run its course for a period of time and then crap out. It's like a 30 to 60 day window at max. That being said, these replica versions of ourselves can live in existence perfectly fine within the, the forge and within the cradle. It's the digital world. It's a digital replica that exists perfectly fine in the digital world. But when you try to put that within a host body in the real world, it just does not live itself out. So basically, unlike the matrix where the humans were tapped in and, be, and, and then in there, a copy of us is being made, and then that copy exists, either in the cradle or the forge. The cradle is supposed to be for the hosts, the forge is supposed to be for the humans, both digital copies of our essences, hosts or humans' essences. The hosts have no problem being uh, created and then given the memories into the real world. The humans have an issue with that. What's my point? We don't actually know what we've been watching is in the real world because it could be in the Forge world. The Forge world could be as large and as all-encompassing as the creator wanted it to be. It could be an entire replica of the Earth, which is populated solely by those individuals who visited Westworld. Where I'm headed is, William. We don't know if what we've been watching about William's past actually happened or exists in the Forge. Because everybody in William's world would have visited Westworld at some point in time. Most likely. There are inconsistencies between him and Westworld and his memories in the Forge. With, especially with his daughter, who we aren't sure if he killed or not. Because we aren't know, sure what's real or not. And he's not sure what's real or not. And it's a freaking mind trip. We watched how his wife committed suicide. Yet I was previously led to believe that that was much farther in the past than the year or two it was giving us in this episode. We've watched him at the parties. We've watched him in the past. But is any of it actually happening in his life? Because... He keeps talking about this duality and how he's the real person in Westworld and he's this phony in the real world. But like the Forge knows his true self because the Forge is his true self. But his true self also puts on the facade when... It... This rabbit hole is infinitely deep. But just like we don't quite know 
what the hell is Bernard's actually living versus what he's remembering versus what may be fed into his mind. We could potentially have been viewing things that took place in the forge or in the cradle and never actually existed in the real world. This is the first time that Westworld created this possibility for us. So we would have never ever questioned the option. But it was the same thing in season one where the entire season up until one of the, I think it was the second to last episode where we found out Bernard was a host. We never questioned any of the humans. And then all of a sudden it opened the door. Well, Bernard's not a human. What the hell? Boom. And there's all infinite possibilities. Now we find out that beyond just imaging the humans that visited Westworld, it's all being stored in a single place, which is infinitely bigger than the cradle because there are a lot more people that have ever visited, which makes you think it's its own pre-existing world, which makes you think we could have been watching things in there and not the memories. Now, I know what you're saying. What's ever in there is the memories, correct? Or is it the way the human remembered it? There's a big difference there because we as humans remember things to benefit ourselves or to fault ourselves. If the man in black, AKA William, believed that, that his wife's death was his fault, then that memory, it justifies that, that feeling. It may not actually be what happened. It's the same with his daughter. It's the same with any human that we've seen their past of. It's also possible that it's the same with any human we were seeing the present of. I don't think the show's quite this convoluted, but you can't rule out the possibility because I just have a hard time believing William killed his daughter. And I have a hard time believing she was a host. So something is not adding up. And that something has everything to do with the forge where everything about humans ever visiting Westworld is stored in one place in the valley. There's another inconsistency, which I'm not sure will get answered in the finale. Teddy washed up on shore with Bernard. Yet Teddy shot himself with Dolores. Is she going to bring his body with her? How did all these hosts wash up on shore with Bernard when only Dolores is the one going to the valley where the forge is, which is where all the humans are stored? Is that going to get blown up? If that gets blown up, the project dies. Robert, Dr. Ford had a final game for William to play, which I assume, if it's the center of the maze, would lead him to the center of the valley where the forge is located, where he must confront himself or realize that he was there all along because there could be layer upon layer upon layer and maybe William, AKA the man in black in Westworld is actually in the forge in Westworld because there could be a Westworld in the forge. There's no reason to assume not because everyone that's ever visited Westworld has the memory of Westworld. So then Westworld exists in the forge. You see where I'm headed? This is freaking trippy. I love Westworld so much because it opens up these rabbit holes of possibilities that start to make very little sense, except that you can't rule them out. This season has been about Bernard. It's setting it up so that next season's about William. Last season was about Dolores, but at the end it set it up that this one would be about Bernard. I'm very excited for where William's story is going to go. We aren't sure if it's going to be existing in the real world or the Forge or Westworld. And what about these other parks? I want to see them a little bit more because his daughter started in one, which made us think she was human, and then she traversed, but she did get the warning leaving park area, which would she get that as a human or would only host receive that? Maybe she was a host after all. I'm Dan Salem. Subscribe to the Buzzchomp YouTube channel for more Westworld videos. We got at least two more, baby. Whew, season finale upcoming. Comment below. What are your thoughts on the forge and the valley which it is in within? <laughs> I love the show. Woo! Westworld Season 2 Reaction. Thanks for watching Buzzchomp. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. Share. Woo!